okay we all have used google scholar but let's see how you can use it use it efficiently and effectively because previously you've been using it for literature search but uh, obviously sometimes you do get the literature other times you do not get the literature or the right kind of literature you're looking for whatever literature that you get uh, from google scholar make sure that it is from or the whatever you want to download make sure that it is from refereed databases in in case of business management your paper should be from uh, emerald sage springer or these kind of databases so let's say let me write let me write a search term a simple search term that we normally use or whatever uh, when we are working on let's say i write corporate social responsibility and i press enter so i will get papers on corporate social responsibility yes but i will also get papers on social responsibility i will also get papers on maybe just corporate the word corporate so you will get papers on every single thing that you can look into see obviously there are many more papers on corporate social responsibility let me change the term a bit let me write university social responsibility and what you get is see it's searching social responsibility as well so not just social responsibility university social responsibility is searching social responsibility as well it might be searching responsibility as well somewhere down the line in in, in uh, other pages as well so how do i tackle this problem i just want to search university social responsibility so there is this keyword in title and press enter so what you find now is you get university social responsibility but again you are getting corporate social responsibility it starts at university you are not getting university social responsibility so what you need to do is you need to put it in quotes so search only those papers or those documents who which have got university social responsibility in their title so you will only get those papers that have got university social responsibility in their title nothing else so this is how obviously you can use in title and i'm going to put it in the document I'm going to do all these strings, uh, so don't worry. And I'm going to share uh, the document with you. And I'm going to just add a few, a few captions as well, just to uh, explain these as well. Okay, so this is your entitled university social responsibility. What if I'm just interested in, or I'm interested in? not just university social responsibility i am interested in other things as well so what i do is i write all in title multiple text or multiple search string corporate social responsibility and let's say i am interested in uh, um, something okay team outcomes let's say what it does is okay it searches my paper so happy to see my paper on google scholar <laughs> just a joke sorry okay so all in title so what it does is it looks into that this text should be in the title and this text should be in the title so for instance you are doing a research and you are looking for particular variables or papers that have been particularly or papers that are published in a particular uh, area so what you can do is you can use all in title to find out has there been extensive research in the area now if you look at this there is only one research that google could found although google searches from all kind of databases or what you can do is let's say remove it and let's say what we get okay now yes there are more papers social responsibility and team performance social responsibility and team processes and cognitive intelligence again by lin uh there is one by zoo as well and there are other papers as well but there are not there's not much research there are just five uh, obviously pages so there's no there's there's very little work on corporate social responsibility and team team outcomes 
So this is how obviously you can, you get to know what research is available. And obviously not all is from those recognized peer-reviewed databases. So this is how you use all in title. Now there is another search term as well that you can use. This is particularly helpful when you are looking for gaps in research. Obviously you will know okay these are the papers that are available and these are very few. So obviously you can download them. They are obviously sometimes the PDF is available so you can just easily go and download them. Okay let's do another search. This, is, this was the search in the title of the paper. What if you want to search the text in the paper? So what you write is in text and let's say uh, I'm interested in some concept like say well, because obviously uh, Yasser mentioned that there is very little research on this. So hybrid entrepreneurship. Hybrid entrepreneurship. So let's search. Okay, so these are the papers. Now see, this is one paper that has got hybrid entrepreneurship in their text. This is another one. This is another one. See, this space has changed the results of the search. If you put a space, there is a change in results. So be cautious that you do not put a space between index and hybrid entrepreneurship or whatever search you are doing. So this is how you can obviously search for results. So these are the results. Obviously, even if there is 10 or 11 pages, I don't see there is much research in the area. So this is how you can search the papers or the text in the paper. See, okay, this is search hybrid entrepreneurship here. This is hybrid. This hybrid entrepreneurship is not in the title, but is in the text. So the results found this paper and it is uh, a paper by Academy of Management Journal. So let me put this here as well. Okay, now let's do another search. Let's do all in text. So if you want to search multiple strings, let's say I'm interested in searching servant. I'm, I'm working on a literature and I can't find any literature whatsoever. So obviously, there are, you haven't searched all Google Scholar. So you can use Google Scholar to help you obviously support your research. I wrote a uh, uh, servant leadership. And let's say project success because I couldn't find any paper on this. So there is only one paper. British Academy of Medicine. So this is how you can use obviously this makes your life much easier. Not just that it is giving you literature, it is also giving you ideas for, for future research. Okay, let me copy this as well for your later use. And now uh, something that is very interesting actually and I, I, I found it uh, really interesting. I liked it actually. Now let's say I want to search something in the title and I want to search something in the text. So obviously I'm going to use in title as well and in text as well. Now how do I do this? So what I do is I write in title and let's say corporate social responsibility and I'm writing in text and I'm searching in text for example say employee commitment so what does this search string do for you it will search corporate social responsibility in the title and it will search employee commitment in the text so this is how you can relate different variables as well let's press enter and what it does is have a look here see you do not have to search all those databases and look into variables and how they are related and whether or not there are papers on it. Just put this string in here. And if the paper is from a good journal, just download it. Use the literature uh, with reference uh, in your paper. See, this is actually telling us about corporate social responsibility and employee commitment. So I hope this particular session uh, would have been very fruitful for you. 
in how to search literature, how to make your life easier when you are writing literature. So uh, let, let's now open the floor for questions because we've got time. Uh, again, let me copy this string as well. And obviously now I will answer all your questions. Do, uh, if you've got questions, please do not put it in chat. Put it in uh, your... Uh, obviously raise hand and then ask question. I'm just going to open the mic. I'm going to share this document with you. Obviously later let me save it.